Hey guys, Tails here, back with more. Uh, geez, there's nothing more annoying than having to reconfigure figure your controller. I just had to do that. It is such a bitch. Right, so where have we been? We have been in all the worlds in that direction. So, I will head over to whatever this world over here is called. I don't know what it's called. Uh, Dark Hollow. This is one of my favorite levels, atmosphere wise. I also want to apologize for my little rant that I had at the start of the LP, but, you know, it's just one of those things. I had to get it out there, you know. I'm not going to start it all again, but I had to. It's just how it went. Oh, yes. Uh, this level introduces armor. You obviously can't flame metal. Well, you can flame it, but nothing will happen. Oops. That's <laughs> so cool when it makes that little burgy, burgy sound effect. It's awesome. It's just like that little extra thing, you know. Frog. Frog. Thank you. When I was reconfiguring, I got the charge button and the um, flame button the wrong way around, and I also messed up the steering when I was configuring, so that was fun to try and fix. Right. I love the music in this level. I don't know why, I just love it. Just the whole atmosphere of this level, but the only problem is it's so short. It's the only downside to this level. Alban. Oh, it's you. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course, they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. I am the master. Armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will Another thing dra elders, dragons tend to do is tell you information too late. Like, you've been doing this, this what they're telling you for the past 20 minutes, and they're just like, oh, hey, you need to do this to defeat this. It's like, um, yeah, I kind of figured it out myself by this point, but thanks anyway. Um... These fat things, you just have to wait till they turn around and then flame them. We can't take them down any other way. The camera issue. No! They don't do any damage to you, they just push you back. In the first world, they don't have any enemies that can do damage to you. Well, they do, but not many of the enemies can do damage to you, I should say. In later worlds, they all start doing damage. Oswin. Oshawott. Not really. You but you're going to tell me anyway. Big secret. I my life is now complete. Now I know that. Right down here we have two gems. A key. Ah, oh, no. And a key. How this didn't jump out then? Uh, yeah, it's Spyro who drowns in water in this game. For he cannot swim. In later games he can, but in this one he cannot. Probably because he's too young. Ha, I almost missed that bitch game. You were going to sit there laughing at me while I was looking for that one gem, but I found it. So, bro ha 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 Right. Let's go up. Jumping. Thank you all. Also, I want to give Teal Game Master, I believe his name is, for give, um, a shout out, because he gave me a shout out during one of his LPs of... A hero's tale, so shout out! I just hope I, f I remember to put a link in the below. Knowing me, I'll probably forget, but when I watch the video back, I should remember, hopefully. Death. It's like if anyone gives me a shout out, I'll give you a shout out back. But other than that, I really don't do shout outs, mainly because I forget to do them. It's like, hey, I want to give this person a shout out, and then it gets to the point when I'm making the video and I completely forget, so. Much like how I forget to thank you guys for watching my videos and stuff, I do that frequently. Like, I always think I should thank them more and then I hit get recording, get talking about bullshit, and forget to thank the people that subscribe to me. I don't know why you subscribe, but thanks anyway. <laughs> thank you for your patronage. Domo arigato. Mr. Roboto. Ah! Wall, eh? And I successfully charged into it. Seems like I've been in this world for ages, but I probably haven't. I know that I made a video last time that was like five minutes long, but I had gotten tired of recording, so I was going to stop anyway, regardless. I know I've missed that big metal thing at the beginning. I'll go back and do that in a minute. No, I'll try and avoid that. There we go. 
Uh, also, Enter the Dragonfly. One day in the future, I will probably do a run through of that. I won't 100% that game because it is physically poss impossible. It's hell and it's not even worth it. The only reason I would play it is to show you all the glitches that appear when I play the game because literally every glitch in the game, every worst possible physical glitch that could happen will happen to me. I've had the game freeze on me before, I've had the level disappear on me. Like literally I'll just be walking along and the whole level just randomly disappears. Well, what are the other glitches have happened? Big enemies like this get off with the club cannot be charged. But a quick flame, that should defeat them. Yeah, I kinda like to tell me that now, my friend. Uh, I've also had the um I'm trying to think of all the glitches I've had. There's so many, like I'm trying to think of the glitches I've had that other people haven't likely to have had. There's obviously the whole falling forever, falling through cracks thing. I'll have a glitch where Spyro will get hit but he won't do his animation or whatever. It'll just, I've, I've had every single glitch you can possibly get and I'm sure there's more that will show up when I next play it but that will be the only reason I play it. I won't play it to play it to complete it 100% because I'm not putting myself through that hell. Hell no. And don't, I won't be doing it in the near future either, because right now I'm focused on this game and Kingdom Hearts 2, so don't expect anything like that for a while. I hate these dog things, for real, so I cannot. I always get hit by them. And I, I just fail so hard at fighting them, I don't know why. Ha ha! Trying to body slam me, I don't think so. Oh, ow. Ah, bitch. You can also do a barrel roll. I keep forgetting about the barrel roll. I wonder if that will help you dodge them. Huh, what do you know? It does. That is actually the only use for the barrel roll in this game. Go figure. You have to be careful not to hit the dogs as well. Because it doesn't always work, obviously. It depends what angle you're at, I guess. It do, uh, you have to be careful when flaming the guys not to hit the dogs otherwise you'll wake those guys up ow <laughs> you'll wake them up and that'll happen no bitch I dodgeth you and there's no sparks in this world either there aren't any sheep they're not that nice this game's pretty brutal actually yeah fail it's kind of annoying that they're two hit KOs ah oh, awesome music do 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 Ah, oh, classic Spyro music. Nothing beats it. The epicness. It's all like calm and cool, then it just suddenly goes do 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 do. Freaking love it. I'm gonna die, by the way, just so you know ahead of time. I will not make it to the end of the world without dying. If I do, I will troll lol lol. But <laughs> considering I have no sparks, and there's all these dogs coming up in a minute, I don't really vote well for myself. I'll get this dragon, at least that's a checkpoint. Freaking love sparring music. The only trouble is, is they use the same songs. For it, like more than once the game. This boss has many tricks up his sleeve. No, really. This boss is kind of pathetic, actually, yet clever at the same time. Death. It's actually easier to walk in this game than it is to charge around. <laughs> I've noticed. <laughs> Did you see them like merge into each other? That was creepy. And this guy, I don't think he actually hits you. He probably will, but I'm going to try and risk it. Because I have no sparks, and that'd be pretty stupid. Fail. I like how they just, like, mold into each other. I know when he's in that form, the sheep will kick you with his uh, wooden sticks if you get too close. Is that it? We cool? I actually managed to survive? This is unheard of, except now I have to get these gems myself. Are we done? We cool? Yes, I'm doing well so far. Right. I am surprised I lived through that without being smushed. Smushed it. 
But there we go. Now we've been recording for 11 minutes. I'm going to keep recording. This is going to be a really quick LP. I can see it now because I've already done with the first world. There's like five altogether or something. Gasp! There are no more sheep here. What is this black magic? Die sheep. I'm not sure what the requirements for the balloonist are in this world. Let's see if I can get an extra life. Probably not. No, I'm not going to. I wonder what the requirements are for the balloonist. I think you have to beat uh, Toasty before he lets you go anywhere. Or free at least however many dragons. I don't know. He'll probably say something now. Wow, I see you've been risen. Yeah, you have to free a certain amount of dragons as well. But go to the Peacekeeper's World. Peacekeeper's World is okay. Not one of my favourites. The most annoying world is Magic Crafters. Oh my god. <laughs> Still, it's pretty cool. Do, 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 do. Are we in Afghanistan? No. <laughs> okay, let's not do those kind of jokes. Titan! Welcome to Peacekeeper, Spyro. Look how our treasure has been turned against us and stolen. Recover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure. Got it. Collect treasure. Got it. Seventeen dragons! There are like eighty all together, I think. Emphasis on pink. Death! It's the red and blues. I was gonna say the red, white, and blues, but that's the American flag, so. <laughs> that wouldn't have worked. <laughs> it's the red coats versus the blue coats. There we go. These cannons are awesome because you can like aim them and shoot them. See if we can shoot a deer thing. Nope, I didn't think that would happen because the odds of me hitting them are slim, and the fact that I'm recording makes it even slim. Ow, slimmer. No! These guys are awesome. If you can chase them into the tents and then, like, flame them, if you get too close, they'll, they'll like, moon you if you turn away. Look at these jerks. If you can get the camera right. Look at that, that is gross. Put it away, dude. Put it away. You flame your ass and you will like it. Look, look, he's doing it now. It's an epidemic. Die. I literally flame their ass as well. That has gotta hurt. That is like the least dignified way to die, for reals. Getting flamed up the ass? That is not how I wanna go. That is not how I wanna leave this world, sir. This serves them right for doing it to me in the first place. Do not piss off a dragon. Dragon tails, dragon tails. It's almost time for dragon tails. And that is all I know of that song. <laughs> I didn't even know why I just randomly started singing it, but there you go, it just randomly came to my head. Ice Cavern. That's one of those worlds that I played as a child, and we were getting ready to go to a party at the time. And whenever I, like, play that level, it always reminds me of that time. It was in the year 2000, we were getting ready to go to Millennium Party or something, and I can remember I had to wear these really itchy tights that had, like, 2000 written on them. And they itched like hell. That's probably why I remember it. And this is what remind that world reminds me of having to wear those awful tights. I hate wearing tights. I, like, trousers all the way, every time, for the win. I need to go get some sparks. For realsies. Here we go. No! <laughs> I just ran into that world. Oh, the, the introduction of these things is flame and jump. Simple stuff. We're racking up the lives. I think I've got everything from over here now. Apart from this dragon, obviously. Do, 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 Hi, Spyro! Hello! No, he hasn't. He's been slacking. Lots of I shall. Brrr. And he shall like it. I'll make him fat so he can barely fly and I'll laugh at him. Okay, let's try and position his cannon. These cannons can be a bit pain in the ass to steer and stuff. Then again, not. At least they're not like the latest Spyro games where you have to like aim them and everything. This cannon aims itself. 
I've seen people get lost so much at this part, like in LPs and stuff. It's like, dude, it's not even hard. Just hit the giant rock. It has a massive target on it. I mean, if you can't see that, then you have problems. For realsies. There we go, that got it. <laughs> I'm not sure where the first shot went, but it did not go where I wanted it to. Wow, there was only two gems in that massive ass chest. A real game? Ah, the night flight. I'm pretty sure they told me about that flight level in the other world. I'm not sure if they did yet. But anyway, I will go back and do it regardless. Not right now, obviously, but later. This is thingy, like trying to commit suicide over the edge. I hate this guy. This guy is on my list. I'll take this key though, apparently. These chests, because they are in my way. No! Fell in the water. No! If I fall in that water again, I am dead. I am one dead dragon. There we go. I have prolonged my life span thing. Fine, I'll get this dragon. I didn't think I'd be able to get this thief until I got this stupid dragon. Well done, Spyro! Roar! You did good work and I know you'll fulfill your destiny. You look like destiny. a giant lizard. Set. I just want to kick some- Just toast those enemies and collect the treasure! And again, all dragons are giant lizards, but he looks more like a lizard than a dragon. He is a winged lizard. That's basically what dragons are, though. <laughs> so I don't know. Ha! That's what I was trying to do, but I ethically failed, apparently. Did I get all the eggs in the first world? I know, I think you only have to get, like, so many eggs all together. You don't even have to get that many for each world. It's just all together. Oh, I missed two gems over there. Interesting. Interesting. Climb up this rock face and fly over the questionably purple water. Ah, limitations for the loss. And this is what you needed the key for. So if you'd flown over here without the key, you'd be pretty screwed. Sorry. <laughs> I got distracted for a second there. I was checking my cell phone. So I knew that animation was going, and I know it's bad, but I did it, and it happened. No! <laughs> well, I got over here eventually. 200 out of 200! Did I get all the dragons? Yes. We are sailing through these worlds, man. I have played Sparrow 1 too much. Too much, my friend. The plural. Right. I don't know if I'm in the mood to do another level, especially not in this episode, because we've done like three worlds in one episode. Look at him trying to walk up here. Herp a derp. I can get him to do it. Herp a derp. Anyway, okay, uh, I will see you guys next time.